guys. So um, took the YXZ out to hole up on yesterday. It did really well as far as, you know, funness and the clutch was less annoying in the sand because you could just slip the tires more. Um, and it did great, except for the throttle started hanging up. And the first time I did it at 8,000 RPMs, it almost put me into a barbed wire fence. I get on the forums. Obviously, most people in forums are idiots. Um, but anyways, I get on the forums and everyone's like, oh, there's like these 20 different fixes for it. They all sound like bullshit to me. So I come home and I take it all apart. Um, all the plastics are off except for the blue. And it was pretty easy um, to get apart. Going back together might be a little trickier. There's a lot of different pieces, as you can see. And they're all held in, you know, pretty easily. You can get to all the fasteners easy enough. Um, I wanted to pull this apart anyway to find all the vent lines for my snorkel video. So that'll be in a separate video, but I did find them all. Uh, but the main reason for pulling it apart now is to figure out what's going on with the throttle. So there's a couple of things that can make the throttle hang, right? It could be an issue with the cable. It could be an issue with the throttle assembly, the bracket. There's a little rubber dampener down there. It could be an issue with the butterfly valve itself. Um, and it also could be a vacuum leak. So I took all this off to access all the vacuum lines and be able to get to everything. And I still can't get to where the throttle goes onto the throttle body, which is down here. That is the little throttle mechanism where the cable comes in and your adjustment is and everything. And it is still buried behind this thing with the battery, all these cables and solenoids in it. And I want to be able to drive it um, and diagnose this issue. And I can't do that without the battery and all the solenoids and stuff. So installs the seats, because if they do, I need to roast this dealership. Every bolt in the seat was loose. That bolt was missing. You can tell it was missing because of how it looks. The seat was bouncing on it. The other three don't look the same. Uh, so I got to fix that. I'm also going to delete the seatbelt while I'm in here, the seatbelt buzzer. Um, overall, I really like the layout, except for where that damn throttle cable goes into the throttle body. You can see it on this side as well. It's really up in there. Um, yeah. There you go. See that white plastic piece? If you turn that, you're turning the butterflies. So I'm gonna get it to where it's failing. I'm gonna hit this so I can open and close the butterflies with my finger like that. And if I push down on it, we're gonna see if that makes it idle down. And if it does, it tells us it's not a vacuum leak, it's the throttle getting hung. And just the way that felt with my finger does feel like that's gonna be the issue. It's not bottoming out soft. I don't hear the butterfly slapping. I feel it kind of sticking. Even worse, not only was this bolt missing, this one was over torqued and stripped out. There's no threads left in this hole. So now I've had to put a nut on the back of it. So this dealership is going to get a great Google review. All right, I finally got that battery box out. Let me show you what it looks like. So I'm having to tear pretty deep in this thing in order to get to this problem and diagnose it properly. This is the battery box. This thing sat right in the center, kind of behind the clutch right here. You have to get all this out because that is where the throttle cable goes into the throttle body. And the only way to get access to all of this is to pull that out. I also wanted to understand what's going on in here. Probably gonna pull the air box now. Um, quite a job. Um, really unacceptable, I had to do this on a brand new machine. Also, they had wires routed over the top of this thing, down up under the drive shaft. The wire routing is pretty stupid, Yamaha. You should have added a few more connectors. Even a few butt connectors here and there would have made this a lot more convenient. Okay, so we got to here, which is the little area where the Throttle cable actuates. The cable's loose on both sides, and we can see the cable moves totally freely. Uh, cable restriction is not related to the issue here. However, the butterflies, which are turned by this thing, stick pretty bad. Once you get them moving, they're okay, but they stick closed. So, worst case scenario, this issue is related to the throttle body. Um, I suspect this is the case for most people who have this problem. Everyone's lazy fix is, oh, lube the cable or do this or whatever, but the throttle body sticks. Um, it doesn't close all the way and it gets worse when it's hot. And when something like that happens with hot, it generally means it's not a cable problem. It usually means it's something to do with the actual butterflies or the throttle body not being aligned right, not being greased right, etc. So now I'm going to pull off the air box um, and the rest of it, remove the throttle bodies and uh, see why they're sticking. Um, this might be the type of thing that gets better with time. So if I had done nothing and just drove it, it might have fixed itself. However, this is pathetic Yamaha. This is a safety concern. And you can kind of see if I open this and I let it close, it doesn't shut all the way. And if I push down on it, it'll shut the rest of the way. All right? So if I see how there's a gap, I'm going to push right there and it's going to close. So that's probably what's going on. The question is just why is that happening? Well, guys, I believe that was the issue. As soon as I loosened up the screws in the middle throttle body, the butterflies are no longer sticking when I start to open them. There's no longer any sticking. And watch, if I let it close real slow, 
closing off 100% without me having to like let it snap shut or force it. So I think the center throttle body butterfly was not centered properly. And that was probably the whole issue. It was getting exacerbated at temperature. Um, a lot of work, but that's kind of what I thought it was to begin with. And I'm pretty sure that is the actual issue. All right, so while I'm in here fixing Yamaha's problems, it shouldn't be a problem in the first place. I decided to delete the charcoal canister air injection setup. So there's all these stuff, right? I'll show you where it all came from, these big brackets and everything. Um, most of it was in the same spot. This little bracket came out from under the shifter and was holding this guy. But the rest of this all came from right next to the oil tank. Um, there's one connector you have to unplug. We're gonna see if it throws a code. If it does, we'll simply cap this and this and plug this back in um, and just leave it in place. It'll click the solenoid, but nothing will happen. Done. Um, as part of removing the air injection system, you have to cap. See those three shiny gold pieces? That is where the fumes would be sucked back into the engine. You have to cap all of those. I use this little cap kit right here. If you need the part number. And I also decided to cap this little guy back here as a fourth guy. It's a little smaller cap. It had a line, this line hanging off of it, going to nothing. So obviously it wasn't doing a whole lot. I sucked on it, I blew on it, couldn't tell. I don't know what that's for. I assume maybe it's for lubricating, spraying some oil up into your throttle body because this issue. So I capped it for now. Not sure what it does, but it was just sitting right here open. We don't like any openness because um, we go in deep water. So the weep hole for the water pump is also going to get capped uh, to keep mud and debris out of that little orifice. Yes, I know. My water pump goes bad and that's capped. I won't have any indication. If I keep this long enough for the water pump to go bad, it'll be a miracle. Okay, so I also went through and lubed up everything in here um, and it's operating a thousand times smoother now. You let it snap shut and it doesn't bind at all. So I think I have fixed my throttle sticking issue by backing out those six screws that hold the butterflies, snapping it shut a few times, torquing them back to spec and then some lubrication up in there should make this Problem free for the stable future, I hope. If anything changes, of course, I'll make an update video. Now I gotta put all this crap back in. Um, quite a lot of work to fix something on a bike with 100 miles on it, but now I have pretty good confidence that it's not gonna try to kill me again. Um, the throttle cable is fine. Uh, I did spray some lubricant in there just to be safe, but it feels nice and smooth and it's a nice throttle cable with a nice sheath. So don't think that's gonna be a problem. That's the, the airbox looks like, there's the Second stage filter, very nice setup. And these things seem to be sealed on here pretty good. Not the same shitty glue used elsewhere. Um, so it looks pretty watertight from everything I've seen so far. I wish I had my airbox spacer to install right now because I got the airbox out. But I don't think I can wait long enough to get it here because I'm gonna go rip around the yard. So I'm put it back together now. Patience and it's kind of funny. So they have like the setup where this almost looks like air is designed to flow through here, right? I think it's really just to make a space between the radiator and the engine and this deck so it all keeps the temperature separated because the air is supposed to come in this way through the radiator and down that way, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what this is because if air is flowing up this way then out, it makes sense, but that cover fits pretty flat down on here and so does the bed. Um, this bed piece, you can look at it. It seals, you know, like this. So there is some space for air to come down here um it's so not really sure what they were going for there um but it is interesting and this bed is held in with no less than 2,000 10 millimeter screws um leaving out half of them for weight savings i drilled some extra holes because it's going to trap dirt in here a lot um really interesting shit going on here with that stuff though i did have a check engine light when i first fired it up so it turns out you do have to have this little solenoid piece plugged in from the canister air injection system thing. So I just plugged it in and zip tied it right there for now. Um, I'll probably eventually tuck it up in here where you can't see it, but um, didn't feel like messing with that. Wanted to test drive it, but to go on test drive, everything looks good. looks like I got the throttle body back in there correctly. Um, and it runs great um, and no throttle hang whatsoever. It snaps right back down to the correct RPM. I didn't even realize it that this thing was supposed to idle at 1500 RPMs. The entire time I've owned it, it's idled above 2000. So it was hanging up pretty bad. And once it got hot, it would hang up at higher RPMs. Uh, so we solved that problem. Um, it was a pain in the ass. Shouldn't have had to do it. Not happy about it, etc. But whatever, it's all back together now. It only was like a five or six hour job. Thanks Yamaha, brand new machine. I do have two extra screws left. Don't know where those go. Um, whatever, it happens. We have this many plastics off. 
I might have swapped them with someone else and then put some plastic clips where those bolts would have gone. So not too worried about it. It runs good. Um, I readjusted my throttle and it turns out that my throttle was adjusted wrong and I was not getting full throttle due to the little rubber damper thing. Yeah, it's a little zip tie mod. After it was all said and done, I put a zip tie on that piece of rubber right there to keep it from compressing so much. And now I'm actually getting full throttle. I was able to look in my throttle body um, with everything taken apart and see that the way my throttle cable was adjusted from the factory, I was not getting full throttle. It's getting probably 80% throttle. So it feels a little more potent now when you put your foot to the floor, which is great. Um, and I do like the feel of the throttle a little better with the zip tie mod, really good trick. Um, but that trick did not help fix any of the problems, right? That wasn't the issue with the throttle hanging up. Um, that was just a nice little thing I did while I was in there. Also obviously deleted all that crap and I ran some of my vent lines up higher. Um, the gas tank vent line, for instance, is breathing right here in the cluster now. Um, and just none of that crap is just one straight vent line. So made some progress towards snorkeling and also fixed the issue that it was trying to kill me.